Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I've done a little bit of work on the base. I have installed hyper tubes uh, in a couple of spots to help us get around a little bit. Uh, so we've got one hyper tube that goes from the entrance of the main building uh, directly into our storage room over here. So that's all good. And then over here in this little backside, I've got another one that pops up right here to get us out onto this level. And then last but not least, I have one more right here that will take us all the way up to the top of the tower that intersects with the Skyway. So it makes it a little bit easier to get around. I'll probably add a few more of these in sort of key locations as we go. Uh, but for now, we're able to get around our base. Uh, you know, should I like die and lose my hover pack or something like that? We've got a, a couple different ways to get around. Um, I also did a ton, an absolute ton of uh, running around the map between episodes gathering all of the hard drives. I gathered, uh, I think, quite literally every single hard drive on the map. Um, <laughs> and uh, except for two. I think there's two that you can only open uh, with events from Fixmas, which is uh, like the, the special thingamadoodle for... Um, holiday stuff. It's like their, their winter holiday event thing, uh, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I went through and I unlocked all of the hard drives. So you can research hard drives here. Uh, and that gives you alternate recipes. So I now have all of the alternate recipes unlocked. That took a really long time, but uh, well worth it. Um, and I also finished off the research so all of the research from the hub, from the hub terminal, is now complete. We now have access to uh, nuclear, advanced aluminum production, leading edge production, and particle enrichment. I think the only ones I still had to do were the leading edge production, which unlocks turbo motors and the Mark III miner, and then particle enrichment, which gives you uh, a whole bunch of stuff, not the least of which is the ability to dispose of uh, radioactive waste from nuclear generators by turning it into uh, stuff. So super useful. Uh, to facilitate that, because we had, uh, because I needed, oh, gotta be in tier eight over here, uh, because I needed a bunch of fused modular frames uh, to do that, and you can't just buy these in the awesome shop. A lot of the resources I needed, I just purchased them in the awesome shop with uh, my tickets. But because you need a bunch of fused modular frames, I set up a little bit of a temporary blender production. I don't think you'll be able to see it from here because it's like hiding behind this rock. Um, but I sent up like a little temporary blender set up over there with two blenders and I brought down some nitrogen gas from up in the hills like up there uh, to help sort of get that set up and then I just set up a bunch of like temporary constructors and manufacturers and stuff in this room uh, to create the other resources I needed and just uh, like we had all the base stuff that you need like if we look at um, if we look at for example the cooling modular frames. It just takes heavy modular frames, which we can make, aluminum casings, which we can make, and then the nitrogen gas. So, like, we had all the base resources for all the things that we needed. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, processing through the machine. So we have all of the technology unlocked now, which is fantastic, and we've got all of the alternate recipes, which is also fantastic. But... Today, the day that you're watching this video anyway, not the day it's recorded, as you will see in a moment, uh, but the day that this is coming out, it's Christmas Eve, and I'm feeling in the holiday spirit. So, uh, we've got Fixmas. This is the holiday event uh, for Satisfactory, and it starts off with like an advent calendar here. So, eventually, essentially, there are little numbers hiding all over this little picture. Today that I'm recording this is the 20th, 
So you can find there's a 20 right here, and you just kind of click on it and open it up, and it gives you stuff. Looks like it gave us 200 color cartridges. Not super great, but it's fine, I guess. Uh, and then you can use this, you know, you get little gifts throughout the month, which is pretty cool. But more importantly, there's stuff to automate. So uh, let's go up to our storage room here. I've done a little tiny bit of this, but not much. Um, I've, you, obviously, we have seen throughout this uh, season so far, throughout, throughout all of these videos so far, we've seen Fixmas presents raining down from the sky and mostly just kind of getting in the way. Um, but they do have a purpose. And today we are going to automate Christmas. Well, Fixmas, I guess. Um, <laughs> so, if we go to the MAM, uh, there is a tech tree in the MAM for Fixmas. So, I've done a couple of these already. You know, turn in Christmas presents or Fixmas presents, and you get uh, the ability to make the giant Fixmas tree and Fixmas tree branches. You can make tree branches using the presents in um, constructors, and there's all sorts of stuff here. But the next upgrade is right here. We need a red ornament, which you get from the advent calendar. Uh, you need some candy canes and some bows, which you get by turning Christmas presents into them with constructors. So let's just get this researched real quick. Okay, there we go. So now we can make you ornaments. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. Uh, I'm uh, telling you Ada, why. I, I'm, I'm feeling festive, but not that festive. Okay, so let's see here. Now we can make... Uh, or we can earn snowmen... Christmas tree upgrades, which we need special ornaments for, it looks like. We need white ornaments. Okay, are there Fixmas things in here? So we can make red Fixmas ornaments and blue Fixmas ornaments. We can make candy canes and bows. Okay, I see. So... To get the iron ornaments, we need to unlock this first. So we got to make 50 of the red ones, 50 of the blue ones, and a bunch of tree branches. And then the friend here, we need candy canes and bows, which should be pretty easy. The big thing is going to be the branches. And I think you can make a giant Fixmas tree. And I think it might actually produce um, presents for you. Let's see. Fixmas. Here we go. It's decorated by pro by pro progressing. Okay, so it's also too big to fit inside of our base. So we'll have to do uh, some stuff with this, but uh, I'm going to kind of play around with it. I may just have to go around and gather gifts. I think maybe it is the Fixmas gift tree that creates gifts. So until then, I may have to run around and gather more Fixmas presents. Okay, so after a little bit of stuff, some smelters and some constructors, you can see if we go to our recipes, the red and the blue ornaments are made in a smelter by smelting the gifts. And the candy canes are made in a constructor with three gifts to one candy cane. I now have all the stuff to unlock the gift tree. There we go. And then also the stuff to unlock the snowmen. So there we go. That's also good. Now, I'm not sure. I, I can see here how to get um, some of this stuff, but I'm a little confused as to how we go about getting the ornament that's like all four ornaments at once. Like, these seem pretty straightforward. Um, but maybe if we make the gift tree, maybe if we make this, produces 15 gifts per minute. Oh, but it needs 20 of the copper, uh, ornaments. Okay. So it produces the gifts. So how do we go about getting the ornament that looks like all of the ornaments? Like if we look in here... Uh, there we go. We need 200 of the copper one, 200 of the iron one, and then one of this one that's like all the different ornaments at once. Is that another advent calendar thing, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look into it. But uh, eventually we'll be able to automate all this stuff, I think. 
So I looked it up, and you get the ornament bundle from the advent calendar, uh, actually super early in the month. I had it stashed away in a chest somewhere. <laughs> kind of like what happened with the, uh, the other ornaments as well that I couldn't find. Uh, so yeah, pretty easy, not a big deal. Um, so now, what we need for the next level of stuff is... Uh, here we go. Let's just plop down a ma'am. So we need one ornament bundle and then a bunch of the uh, copper and iron ornaments. So we need to find a copper node and an iron node. And then what we want to do is automate this. And I don't think I actually have the stuff to do it right this second, but these gift trees will produce gifts every minute. And you can see when you plop them down, they actually do have an output. So we can run conveyors out of them and fully automate all of this stuff. And each one of these trees requires 20 iron ornaments. I've got 25 of them from the advent calendar and then 20 copper ornaments, as well as a bunch of branches and great gifts and other stuff. Um, but the big thing, it looks like we're gonna need copper and iron. So I need to go find a copper and iron node that are near each other. So we can actually set up like a, a Christmas factory, essentially. Um, and then we can hopefully get some of this stuff just like ready to go. Uh, I'll have to do some of the copper ones uh, a little bit more manually, not like proper manually, but you, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Just give it a minute. Let me uh, let me go find a decent copper and an iron node. There's tons of iron nodes around here. I just gotta find a copper. All right, my friends, I have set up a sort of a temporary uh, setup over here. Eventually, we're going to move it outside. You can see I've started building a little bit of a platform out there. You can just barely see it through the window when I jump. Uh, but for now, we're bringing our copper over here into some smelters to make copper ingots and some iron over here to make iron ingots. And then those are being distributed to foundries, which are combining with blue and red Christmas ornaments uh, to make our uh, white and uh, copper Christmas ornaments. So that's working out pretty well. Uh, then I've got a couple of these Christmas, uh, these Fixmas gift trees plopped down. So these two over here are just making gifts, which uh, I'm storing over here. You can see when we go to make one of these, it takes 50 presents, 100 of the tree branches, 20 of the copper ornaments, and 20 of the iron ornaments. So I'm making the presents over here. I'm making uh, iron, or I'm making the branches right here. I've got a couple, uh, two of these. These these trees produce 15 presents per minute. So that splits between uh, three constructors because they take 10 per minute to take 10 branches. So we're making our branches right over here. Uh, and then over here, we've got uh, two of these smelters dedicated to making red ornaments and two of them dedicated to making blue ornaments. And right now I'm basically just trying to build up uh, enough ornaments uh, and branches and presents and stuff like that that I can make essentially a whole uh, factory. Uh, and I've just been manually dumping the ornaments into here and then they you can see they get distributed to uh to where they gotta go um so it's working out fine it's getting the job done i have managed to build up enough ornaments at this point that i think we can uh, advance actually i've got a ma'am right over here i don't need to make a new one uh, i think we can advance to the next tech section of this so let's go ahead and do that there we go. And now we can make... We're making a list. We're checking it twice. I, I think Ada always says the same thing every time. Uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Um, if we... Okay, we got the upgrades. Okay, so this allows us to make the ornament bundle and then power lights. So this is going to be our first priority because we need to make the ornament bundle... Uh, to make the snowing one, and then this one requires the wreaths. Yeah, the, the Fixmas decorations and ornament bundles, plus this gold star that I already have. I uh, got that from the advent calendar. So it looks like we basically need ornaments right now. Uh, and then 
that. How do we get the snow? It says I need snow. Did I already unlock that? Yeah, okay, here we go. Actual snow. Um, that's elsewhere. Okay, so yeah, this should be fine. I think at this point we are probably far enough into this that we can uh, get enough trees going that we can set up like a proper factory and get uh, at least the basic stuff here all automated. So I'm going to head out over here. I've started building this sort of green platform uh, and I'm going to start working on that. Also, I think every time you do one of the the ma'am upgrades in the middle, yeah, it upgrades your tree right here. So uh, before, just a minute ago, this was just candy canes. It was a tree with candy canes. Now it's got lights and ornaments and stuff on it too. So that's pretty cool. This uh, this gets more decorated every time you complete uh, one of these ones here in the center. So that's pretty cool. Looks like there's two more. Yeah, this one and then I'm assuming this one as well. So yeah, we're making progress. All right, my friends, I've been grinding away at this for a couple hours, and I moved the vast majority of the stuff out to this platform, got a nice little setup going with uh, pretty much everything automated, and I now have all the materials I need to upgrade to the next level. So let's run through this setup super quick. Uh, over here, we got a bunch of these Christmas gift trees that are creating gifts, which over here are being turned into tree branches. And then some of the tree branches are being turned into these uh, decorations. Uh, once they combine with anything I put in this chest, this chest is for uh, ornament bundles, which get made over there. Um, but I have to manually drop the ornament bundles into here just for now. Um, because when we do upgrade, you can see one of the things we need to actually upgrade to the next step in the uh, the MAM Fixmas tech tree is those uh, ornament bundles. So I didn't want to dump all of them into here. I needed to save some for our actual progress. Uh, then a bunch of the other uh, ornaments, or the, uh, the presents, I should say, are being turned into blue and red ornaments, respectively, which are then getting combined with copper and iron to make the iron and copper ornaments. And then those are being combined over here into the ornament bundles, which are just sitting in this chest. Um, and then somewhere around here. Yeah, over here, I'm making real snow. Uh, three constructors doing that, and that's being dumped into this one. And then any excess presents, because we are making more presents with all these trees than we're actually using, any excess ones are just being sent into this industrial storage container over here. So that's basically how it's all set up. Once we upgrade to the next tree, I'll probably reroute some of this stuff, depending on what we actually need. But let's plop down a ma'am, go to the holiday event, and get this going what is next okay so we have the you wreath when you're sleeping we know when you're ada you say the same thing every time so we've got the wreath which requires uh a hundred of the decorations 200 of the ornament bundles and 500 of the ribbons okay so i'm gonna have to manufacture are they are they bows we're gonna have to uh, automate the bows that should be super easy it's just presents in a constructor so that'll be a piece of cake and then over here we need a bunch of snow which i do have and then a bunch of bows and um the candy canes again those are super easy just presents into a constructor so those are both a piece of cake but those are going to unlock snowballs, wreaths, and the Wonder Star. And then for this, we need 500 Wonder Stars. So we don't actually need to do the snowball, it looks like, to get the final upgrade for the tree. We just need to do this one and get the Wonder Stars and then use the Wonder Stars to make 500 of those to get our final upgrade. But either way, we'll automate candy canes and bows. That'll be super, super easy to do because it's just presents going into a constructor. Uh, and then that should be pretty much all we need to uh, to get going here. OK, my friends, after uh, many more hours, um, I set up a little bit of a thing. So we've got our um, our ornament wreaths coming over this way. I just hooked up this line and then our bundles I hooked up over here. 
went into a couple of assemblers uh, along with candy canes and all this other kind of stuff. And finally, after many hours, we have all of our wonder stars that we needed. Uh, I'll be honest, I set this up and then I went AFK and uh, played Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for pretty much the uh, several hours until it was done. So <laughs> this was mostly just uh, spent uh, AFKing, but that's totally fine. Um, so now I think we have everything. Let's get a good look at our tree out here as it is right now. Okay, so we've got like our uh, lights and ornaments and candy canes on it right now, as well. Do these? No, these are. Oh, okay. So the presents are actually semi new as well. Uh, let's tell you what. Let's tear this thing down. And let's actually set it up over here in the bundle with the rest of our, like, in this general vicinity, I would say. Uh, there we go. There should be a bit of space, like, right over here somewhere for this tree. Yeah, right here. This will be perfect. Okay. So get our giant tree. Looks like the center is, uh... We'll say right about here or so. And let's just plop it down. How big is this thing? Pretty big. But it looks like it fits here no problem. Other than we got like a little power line running through it. That's okay. So, all right, here's our tree as it stands right now. If we do the final upgrade which we have the, the stars to do. There we go. Did anything change? <laughs> I, I think it's exactly the same. Maybe there are more presents now? Are, th are there more lights? I don't know. I think it actually looks exactly the same as it did before. Maybe some, maybe the ornaments are a little bigger. I, I don't know. It. You better watch out. You better watch oh, out. Oh, the star goes on top. Okay. So I guess that was what was added. It was just the star on top. Either way, we've completed all of the Fixmas content, which is pretty sweet, uh, and. Uh, for those of you who aren't really interested in the, the tree and the candy canes and stuff like that, it's still worth at least checking the uh, the advent calendar um, for this, if you're playing Satisfactory, because there are a couple of items that you can only get through the advent calendar that you use to, um, to access... Uh, some of the, the crash sites, the crashed drop pods. I forget what they're called off the top of my head, but they're items that you can't get in any other way, uh, and you'll get them on two separate days. I don't know exactly when, but uh, we're almost at the end of the month at this point, so, you know, shouldn't be that big of a deal because uh, you'll be able to get basically all the days at any given time. Uh, and also, it is uh, it is officially Christmas Eve here. It's some ungodly hour of the morning, but it is Christmas Eve here. So let's see if we can find 24 somewhere. Oh, 24. Does it come to think of it? Do I don't know if I actually see anything past 23. Aha! There it is. It's hiding right here. We've unlocked the finger guns emote, and I see 25 is hiding right here as well um, for tomorrow. But yeah, it's definitely worth going through the advent calendar and finding all the days. You get some stuff that you can't get elsewhere, some cosmetics, some emotes, and uh, uh, more importantly, a couple of items that you use to unlock drop pods. So, pretty good. Um, but, I think... That is 
going to do it for today. It is Christmas Eve, and, uh, you know, I should probably spend some time with my wife and stuff like that. Like, I think that's moderately important around this time of year. <laughs> so, I'm going to call this one right here, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year.